Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. The Deputy Prime Minister and Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects Chairman Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the meeting of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects remotely. He said that Bahrain's positive and rapid economic growth during the prosperous reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa have been accompanied by a strong drive to provide high standard infrastructure through strategic projects, especially in the electricity and water areas. He stated that the government's belief in the importance of electricity and water as important sources of energy and as the backbone of other services and other sectors have prompted it through the Electricity and Water Authority, EWA, to plan and implement quality projects worth more than $1.53 billion during the past decade. Electricity and Water Minister Wal bin Nasr al-Mbarak briefed the meeting on the project to develop Develop the electricity and water networks. Sheikh Khalid thanked Al Mubarak and the Electricity and Water Authority CEO Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa and the personnel for their efforts to implement the government's program for 2019 to 2022 related to the development of electricity and water networks that would secure a supportive environment for sustainable development, enhance the readiness of energy and water infrastructure, and raise the efficiency and sustainability of the services provided. Sheikh Khalid said that EWA projects seek aim to provide all regions of the kingdom with electricity to meet the current and future needs of the residential, investment, commercial, industrial and other sectors. The Deputy Premier said EWA has an average completion rate of 78% of implementing its projects within the current government program until May. The Minister of Housing Engineer Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar hailed the efforts of real estate development institutions cooperating with the Ministry of Housing through the Mazaya program, which works within the framework of the visions and goals of the Ministry by providing housing solutions for citizens that guarantee immediate access to housing services. The Minister noted that since the launch of the program, it witnessed the provision of 84 projects by real estate development companies in various governments of the Kingdom, which contributed to providing providing adequate and immediate housing for more than 8,000 Bahraini families. al Hamar affirmed that the Ministry conducts continuous monitoring of all stages of the procedural cycle to benefit from the Mazaya program with the aim of finding opportunities for improvement and development. He highlighted the recent achievements of the Mazaya program and the large turnout of beneficiaries in addition to its economic impact through the existing partnership with the private sector. The Minister also noted that the Developing Land Rights Program in cooperation with the sector and specifically with real estate development institutions is one of the government's top priorities. The Secretary General of the Higher Education Council and Deputy Chairperson of its Board of Trustees, Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa bin Daij Al Khalifa, participated in the preparatory meeting for the second summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, on Science and Technology. The summit will be held on the 16th of June under the chairmanship of the United Arab Emirates under the theme Science, Technology and Innovation, Opening New Horizons. Sheikh Rana expressed pride in participating in the meeting which reflects the Kingdom's support to the OIC and its continuous efforts aimed at bolstering relations between member states and developing cooperation between the organization and the world's countries in a manner that enhances the interests of member states at all levels. She noted the OIC's keenness in bolstering cooperation in the fields of science and technology in light of their importance to guaranteeing sustainable development and achieving progress and prosperity in addition to facing all developmental challenges. The Secretary-General affirmed the importance of exchanging expertise between member states and creating academic and research partnerships that would accelerate growth and development. Based on the decision of the public prosecution to seize expired or fraudulent food items, the Inspection Directorate of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism has destroyed the items it has seized from the Hamala warehouse. The Under Secretary of Monitoring and Resources, Abdul Aziz Al Ashraf, said that the courts have ruled in the Hamala case to sentence the first and second accused persons for five years and charging each 5,000 Bahraini dinars, while the third accused person was sentenced for three years and a 
is charged 2,000 Bahraini dinars and the fourth was charged 5,000 Bahraini dinars with deportation to follow. Al Ashraf said that the ministry was notified of the decision to seize and destroy the items and that it has been coordinating with the ministries of interior, health and the area's municipality. The chairman of the Federation of the GCC Chambers of Commerce, Samir Nas, met with the chairman of the Federation of Iraqi Members and Chairman's Chambers of Commerce, Abdel Razak Zahiri, on the sidelines of the meetings of the Arab Chambers of Commerce. The meeting discussed the various ways in which commercial and economic relations with Iraq can be further enhanced. Nas affirmed that the Iraqi market is important to Bahrain, as evidenced by the rise in Bahraini exports to Iraq in 2020 compared to 2019 and said that Iraq represents a foundation for the development and prosperity of the Arab world. For his part, as Zahiri said, that affirmed Iraq's keen interest in strengthening the bilateral ties and praised the kingdom's achievements on all levels. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism will join the international standardization bodies in celebrating the World Accreditation Day, which is observed on June the 9th every year. The event, which is celebrated this year under the theme Supporting the Implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, aims to boost social awareness of the importance of accreditation and its remarkable role in achieving the SDGs. Marking the occasion, we are joined on the phone by Senior Standards Specialist at the Testing and Metrology Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Engineer Esma Selman. Hello, Engineer Esma. Can you tell us more about the aims of marking World Accreditation Day? Uh, good evening and uh, thank you for the uh, very good introduction. So, uh, Testing and Metrology Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism works hard to celebrate the most important international events uh, and days. Uh, 9th of June of every year marks the World Accreditation Day, a global initiative that was established by the International Accreditation Forum and the International Laboratory Accreditation Corporation, uh, basically to promote, the, uh, to promote the value of accreditation. Uh, this year's theme is uh, supporting implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, this occasion gives us the opportunity to highlight the efforts of testing and metrology directorate and its pioneering role in the field of accreditation, which is constantly and continuously developing to be able to meet the needs of rapid de of development in the industrial and service fields, especially with the aim of achieving sustainable development goals where development goals are one of the main pillars of the government's work program to implement Bahrain Vision 2030. Engineer Asma, and what is the role that the Testing and Metrology Directorate plays when it comes to accreditation? Uh, testing and Metrology Directorate has a very important role in consolidating the principles of accreditation in the Kingdom of Bahrain with the aim of achieving safety and security for the consumer and the manufacturer at all levels, as it works mainly to achieve the goals of sustainable development and Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, as it is directly concerned with protection uh, and environmental sustainability, as well as the efficient use of resources and energy, which is one of the main pillars of the Sustainable Development Goals of the Kingdom of Bahrain. In addition, the Directorate has circulated to all management system certification bodies about the importance of obtaining accreditation by the Gulf Accreditation Center in order to enhance the confidence and value, cert and value of certificates granted to clients. On this occasion, the Directorate aims to spread awareness of the importance of going into the field of accreditation in order to reduce waste and losses resulting from the use of unsafe products or services. In addition to enhancing government performance to highlight and improve the image of Gulf countries in, accord in accordance with, competitive, with competitiveness and development indicators at the international level. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And that was the Senior Standard Specialist at the Testing and Metrology Directorate at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Engineer, Esma Selman. 
The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,010,162 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 839,685 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and to take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 19,238 with 2,367 recoveries, 1,279 registered new cases and 18 deaths. 551 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 727 are contacts of active cases and one is travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.